Hey guys, so we're going to talk about ancient India achievements today. Um, so we're going to start with the religious art, as you can see in the really cool picture to the left. Um, I'm totally going to mispronounce a lot of these names, so I apologize in advance. But the Mauryan and Gupta periods were created, um, or were created, they created great works of art, um, and many were religious. Um, paintings and sculptures illustrated the Hindu or the Buddhist um, teachings, and they also built really amazing temples. Um, the early Hindu temples were really small stone structures, and they had these flat roofs, and there was only like really one or two rooms. So when I say they were small, they were pretty small. Um, the Buddhist temples, they were carved entire temples out of mountainsides, um, and they would fill the caves with these beautiful paintings and sculptures. In the Gupta period, the temple architecture became a lot more complex. Um, and they would top these huge tower with it, like, they would add these, ugh, I cannot talk today, y'all. Um, but they would top by huge towers and they were covered with carvings of the god that was worshipped inside that room. Um type of temple is a stupa I think is how you pronounce it um and you can see it in the picture below it had these it had a domed roof um they were built to house sacred items from the life of the Buddha and um again you can see in the picture it was carved with all this really detailed carving their paintings and sculptures um painting was a really respected profession it was home to a lot of skilled artists in India and the paintings were really clear and colorful. They would have pictures of graceful Indians wearing fine jewelry and stylish clothes. They it drew about their beliefs, or they drew about their beliefs, which resulted in many of the works being found in temples. Um, the Hindu painters drew hundreds of gods on temples and wall entrances, kind of like the Egyptians where they would do a lot of their art inside tombs and temples. Um, Buddhists covered the walls and ceilings of temples with different scenes from the life of Buddha. The Indian sculptors made statues for Buddhist cave temples. They also would carve statues of kings and the Buddha. And some statues tower over the cave entrances. And Hindu temples also featured really impressive statues of their gods. So you've heard us talk about cuneiform and um, hieroglyphics, but Sanskrit was the main language of the ancient Aryans. And you can see a picture of what that looked like um, down below. Um, they also wrote these religious epics. And an epic is like a really, really long piece of writing. It's not a novel. Um, it's not really a poem. But it's just like this really long piece of work um, that, is that is written. Um, and you can see they have two of their most famous epics. Um... I'm definitely going to pronounce it wrong, but the one that starts with an M was one of the longest works ever written. Um, and it talked about the struggle between two families for the control of the kingdom. And there's long passages about Hindu beliefs um, that are included within that epic. Um, the Ramayan is about a prince named Rama who was the god Vishnu in human form. And he became human so he could rid the world of demons. And he also had to rescue his wife, a princess named Sita. The characters were seen as models for how Indians should behave. And Rama is seen as the ideal ruler. And his relationship with Sita is the ideal marriage. Um, other works, um, you can see, again, the Kalidasa, um, which was... A famous um, piece of work during the Gupta period. Um, oh, I said a piece of work, and it was not a piece of work. It's a famous writer. Um, if I could read that, it would also be really good. Um, but he was a famous writer during the Gupta period, and he was hired to write plays for the royal court. Um, Indian writers are also produced... Um, or also produced books and stories, um, and they were attended to teach lessons, and they praised people for cleverness and quick thinking, and each story ends with a message, kind of like a fable, um, how it has a story, and then it tells you the lesson you were supposed to learn from that story at the end of it. Um, 
some of their scientific advances were metalworking, um, pioneers of metallurgy, which is the science of working with metals, in case you didn't know. Um, they were able to create high-quality tools and weapons. They were also new processes for mixing metals to create alloys, which is the mixture of two or more metals. Um, they made the strongest production products out of iron because it was very hard, but it was also pure. And so that also made it a really valuable trade item. And then the famous iron, pil iron pillar near Delhi was built um, during this time. And also what made iron so um, nice to work with was that it's resistant to rust. Uh, mathematics and other sciences among the most skilled mathematicians of their day were the uh, were the Indian mathematicians. They developed many elements of our modern math system. The Hindu Arabic numerals that they were numbers um, or they're the numbers that we use today. Excuse me. They were created by Indian scholars and they were brought to Europe by the Arabs and then first to create the number zero. They were also really skilled at medical sciences. Um, and they were the first people to really be known to actually write down their knowledge in what would be called a textbook today. Um, and they would describe how they make medicines from plants and minerals. Um, they also, Indian doctors knew how to protect against diseases. Um, so inoculation is the practice of injecting a person with a small dose of a virus to help him or her build a defense to a disease. So that's like what they do with the flu shot when we go get it nowadays. They give you a, a small dose of the flu virus and then it's supposed to help you build up this um build up your immune system to help protect you from getting it um if it ever did try if you ever did try to get the flu um surgeons did operations like we see today the only difference is that um, if there wasn't a cure back then, then they would cast magic spells to help people recover. They don't do that nowadays. Um, and then to finish up with mathematics and science, they also had um, a big interest in astronomy. And they knew about seven of the out of the nine planets in our solar system. Um, the sun was a star and the planets revolved around it. They knew that. And they also knew that the earth was a sphere and sphere. And sp fun it's fun spun on an axis uh, and they even helped predict eclipses too like we saw what one last year I think it was yeah last year um so that's pretty cool all right so that's it for ancient India achievements